I didn't see you there. I was just reading the new issue of Renaissance magazine and drinking some tea. But no matter. You must be here because you are curious to see our new film, based on the delightful comedy by William Shakespeare. At play, being a Midsummer Night's Dream. We are here to pay tribute to this playwright by showing you our musical short. I hope you enjoy. I must entreat your grace to tell me the worst that may befall upon me in this case. Either to be shot to the heart or to become a nun. <laughs> My Hermia, we should totally. Oh, yes, my Lysander, I shall meet thee in the wood. I will tell Demetrius of Hermia's flight. Then maybe he will thank me for this information. Oh, I love him so much. I am a despicable human being. <laughs> All right, men. So we're going to do a play for the Duke's wedding. Uh, hopefully win some money, you know, the whole thing. And it's going to be called Pyramus and Frisbee. Uh, actually, Peter Quince, don't you mean Pyramus and Fizby? Not Frisbee, with a T-H. Fizby. Yeah, whatever, Nick Bottom. Oh, and by the way, you set down for Pyramus. Titania, I only beg a little changeling boy to be my henchman. That's all. It's not a big deal. My dear Oberon, ever since you've not been dancing in our fairy circles, nature has turned against itself. have my little changeling boy. Huh, wench. Ah, there's my servant. Come over here, my good Puck. I need your service. Yes, my lord. Okay, Puck. Now, you remember that time when we were over by the sea and then we heard this mermaid singing on a dolphin's back and everybody was stopping to listen to it? And then Cupid launched this arrow from his bow and then it struck on this white little flower and then it turned to purple with love's wound? Uh, yes, my lord. Okay, now I need you to bring me this flower, and uh, maidens call it... The potion number nine. And uh, so basically when it's laid on people's eyelids, and the next thing that they see when they wake up, they fall in love with it like crazy, like absolutely madly. Your servant shall do so, my lord. I am off. Demetrius! Oh. I love you! Helena, I love you not, so... Stand back, stand back. And follow me no more. And Demetrius, though you hate me, I will follow you still. Fare thee well, nymph. Poor girl. I think I shall help her out too. Puck! Yes, my lord. Hast thou the flower? I pray thee, give it to me. Now take some of it. There is a girl who is in love with a disdainful man. And she is so in love, and so basically I want you to make him fall in love with her. So, here, take some. Your servants shall do so, my lord. And Puck! You'll know him by the Athenian garments he hath on. No, uh, we're right here. Oh, okay, Hermia, speak troth, I have lost our way. Let's just camp out and wait until tomorrow to figure all this crap out. Yes, my Lysander, that sounds good. I will rest here upon this bank, and you sleep over there. Down, up and down, and no Athenian have I found. There he is. Done. Uh, Alexander, are you dead or asleep? Awake, good sir. Say so 
Lysander, you love Hermia, not me. <laughs> Why must you mock me so? <laughs> But I do love you, Helena. Oh yeah, stay there. The Duke come near me anymore. Helena, I love you. Come back, my love. <laughs> what an awful dream I had. Lysander, where hast thou gone? Oh, I must find you. Where did you go? Are we all met? Good, everyone. Now, bottom, go off the stage and wait for your cue. Right-o, Peter Quince. What babbling bunch of buffoons we have performing here, so near Titania. Oh, a play. I shall interfere if I see cause, and maybe play a nasty trick or two. <laughs> Cut, flute, and bottom. Your cue is passed. Come on now. <sighs> if I were fair, this be dear, I would... Oh, monster, so strange, we are haunted. Pray, master, spy, master's help. Come now! <laughs> Why do they run away? This is some knavery of theirs. I will sing so that they know I am not afraid. Gentle mortal, sing again! Uh, excuse me, do I know you? No, but I must swear that I love thee. Methinks, mistress, you should have little reason for that. Thou shalt remain in this wood, and I shall give thee fairies to attend on thee, and I shall give thee jewels from the deep. Sissy, Foxy, come here, come here, fairies. Now be good and courteous to this gentleman, all right? You're my kind of girl. Now what other perks do I get now? My dear sir. I wanna dress you up in silk. Tap it up. Ah, Puck, what hast my mistress fallen in love with? There was a bunch of buffoons performing a play, and, the stupidest of all of them, I put on him the head of an ass. And so, when Titania awoke, that's what she fell in love with. Ha ha ha! This is better than what I could have predicted! But hast thou taken care of the young Athenian? Oh yeah, d that's taken care of. Don't worry about it. Who is that that comes? That's the woman, but not that the man. Demetrius, have you killed my Lysander? He's not dead, for all I can tell. Away, you dog! It's no use following her in this fierce vein. I'll just rest until tomorrow. All resolved then. You idiot! What hast thou done? I did as thou told me to, sir. Didn't you not tell me that I would know the man by his Athenian clothes? Oh, yes, but just fix it. There's the young Athenian man. Hmm. There we go. I don't love you, Lysander, so don't mock me so. <laughs> but Helena, I love you by my life, I do. <laughs> oh, where is Lysander? Demetrius? Oh, 
fight. Oh, hell, I see that you are both in souls to mock me. Oh. Why? Oh. I love Helena. No, I love Helena. You love Helena. No, 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 I love Helena. I love Helena. I love Helena. I love Helena. No, you love Helena. No, 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 no. Oh, I am so tired. Oh, oh, here I shall rest. I'll kill Lysander tomorrow. God. Get forty weeks or so. Lysander say that he didn't love me when he just swore that he loved me. And how could Helena have stolen Lysander from me? But God shield Lysander from Demetrius and sword. <laughs> uh, I'm too tired to fight Demetrius. I'll deal with that tomorrow. To reverse what I've done. When you awake, you will love Hermia again, not Helena. That was a big mistake. All right, I finally got Titania's changeling child. Now, Puck, you may take the ass's head off of that man there. Now, my fair Hippolyta, you shall hear the music of my hounds. Yes, very impressive, my Theseus. Yes, aren't they? They're just such lovable and wonderful and radiant dogs. Yes. Wait, who are all these people? Wait, that's the music. This is Helena and Hermia and Lysander. What the heck are they doing here? I have no idea, my Oh, dear. maybe they're here to do observance to a morn of May. Yes. This is May Day, after all. Wait, this is the day that... Hermia must decide her choice on whether to become a nun or to die, or to marry Demetrius. Well, we should wake them up, shouldn't we, my dear Theseus? Yes, we should. Well, Hermia, I've decided. It's okay. You can marry Lysander. You don't have to pick any of those other options I made for you. Yes, thank you, Lord Theseus. Thank you. Oh. Yep, yep. All right, all right. Come, lovers, let's all get married. Can you call me when my next part is up? My next cue. Desire the most radiant pyramids. <laughs> oh, Peter Quince. There is everybody. Whoa. What a crazy, 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 crazy night. Crazy dream. <sighs> I shall get Peter Quince to make a story of it. Or to write a song about it or whatever. And it shall be called Bottom's Dream. Because it hath no bottom. Our renowned Duke Theseus, we are here to perform a play for you called Pyramus and Thisbe. Not Frisbee like what Peter Quince says, but Thisbe. And so anyway, if you know anything about Shakespeare, then you will know that Pyramus and Thisbe is actually Romeo and Juliet. God, what an awful play! We worked very hard on this production, and I really hope you liked it. And if you didn't, I have a magazine to get back to. Hello. I hope you liked the video. A lot of work went into it, and I think I can safely say that we've 
lost our minds making this video for you. I hope you're happy. I hope you liked it. Thank you. And goodbye.